leaking ceilings, mold in cabinets, even trickling, tricking the furnace to keep warm air blowing. These are just a few of the maintenance issues. Public housing residents in Hamilton say that they've been enduring now for years. WCPO's Lucy May and Emily Maxwell spoke to residents about the lack of basic repairs. Tina Jones has lived at the Neyland Park Apartments for 14 years. She has a leak in her ceiling, mold growing in her cabinets, water damage throughout her apartment, and only one stove eye that works. So I use this one eye. I don't really feel like this is home. I just basically come in, lay my head down. Really don't want to, but I lay my head down because I'm paying my rent. In 2016, Jones put her rent in escrow because of these ongoing problems. A judge ruled the landlord had to make repairs. Two years later, she's still waiting on those fixes. She keeps her kitchen supplies on the counter out of fear of storing them in mold. Yeah, I have to live with this stuff out all the time. And it's not something that I want to have company coming around. And Linda Thompson lives in a basement apartment in another building of the complex. She told WCPO she put a package of frozen hot dogs on her thermostat to keep warm air blowing. That's the latest development in a host of issues she's endured in her eight years here. A broken kitchen drawer, an unreliable stove, water leaks, and a busted refrigerator also make the list. She was promised new appliances when she first moved in. You know, I got this raggedy refrigerator. It's raggedy. You know, y'all ain't doing nothing in my stove, burns my food up. Lately, she's weary to have her grandchildren visit. They ain't been coming because I'm, I'm terrified I don't want to get sick. New owners took over the property in January of 2018. The Evergreen Real Estate Development Group, LLC, now manages the complex. The owners told WCPO they plan to replace roofs, windows, security systems, and update apartments. However, funding for these projects is taking longer than expected. John Kennedy, executive vice president of the Evergreen Real Estate Group, told WCPO over the phone they're hoping to start repairs in early 2019. He also said he's aware of residents' frustrations. But outsiders say they need to better communicate. You know, I could certainly understand that after this amount of time that residents would be frustrated, especially if there, there isn't a good communication channel for them to know what's happening. Available public housing is scarce in Hamilton, which concerns Jones about moving. As a longtime volunteer in the community, she doesn't want to be forced out. She wants her unit to be a home again. It's just really heartbreaking and sad, and it just, um, I don't know, it just, it's very upsetting to me because, you know, we have to have our rent in on time, but we can't get work done. In Hamilton, I'm Emily Maxwell.